Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I usually do either like a favorites and fails or an empties video at the end of the month, but for January I didn't do any because honestly I hadn't finished anything new and I wasn't really trying a lot of new products. But now I have collected a few empties. Some of them are skincare, others are hair care, and I have, I think, one body care product. So that's what I will be doing today, but I will also give you mini reviews of some of these products as I go along. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. <laughs> The first empty here is a sunscreen and it is the Everyday Face SPF 30 by the brand Think. Specifically, this is the Think Sports line. It is a sunscreen that I have a full review on. It is a 100% mineral sunscreen. It is a nice one. It is affordable. It is from the drugstore. The white cast, I would say, is somewhere in the middle. It's not too casty, but it's not like non-existent. It's right in the middle. It has a semi-matte finish. I think this is a sunscreen that would suit a lot of people. And for the price, I do believe it is a good one. So I won't be repurchasing this for now, but I might actually in the future. I do quite like it. Next product is a product that made it to my top 2021 skincare products. And it is by Glow Recipe. It's their Pineapple C Serum. This is a vitamin C serum that really brightens the skin. I can definitely appreciate brightening from using it and it does give you that nice glowy look to your skin especially if you use it at night and like when you wake up you get that look this is how I was using it it is a great one it is pricey I got mine uh, initially through the blemish edit from Cop Beauty and then I purchased it when they had a sale but if you've got the money and you wanted to try it I think it is a nice one there's still a little bit left in here, but I can't get to get it out of the bottle, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. The next product that I emptied is this one by Eucerin. This is the Q10 Face Cream, Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream. I love this stuff. Again, I have a full review on this. This is an amazing winter face cream for my skin. It is a little bit thicker. It is definitely more moisturizing than what I would typically use in the summer. And trust me, it is already summer here, so I'm glad I finished it up because I want to reach for something a little bit lighter right now. But again, it is super affordable, amazing if you've got dry skin, and yeah, I just love it. This next product is a new product in the market, but I also don't know how I feel about it. Sometimes I love it and other times I don't. It is this one by the brand Hello Sunday. This is their hand cream and it does have SPF 30 in it. I picked it up from Cult Beauty. It's specifically called the one for, for your hands. It's moisturizing, but not super moisturizing. And sometimes when I really need moisture for my hands, I tend to want to apply a lot more than I should. And I feel that because it's got sunscreen in it, it kind of forms a film on my hand that is that that doesn't feel good. You know, it kind of balls up and feels a little bit sticky. That's why I said I do like it. It is moisturizing, but not super moisturizing. And if you apply a little bit, it does absorb and it will leave no cast, uh, not no cast, it will leave no residue while giving you a little bit of protection. But if you were to apply a lot, it does feel a little bit thick on the hands without providing enough moisture, if I'm making sense. Is it a bad one? No. I do prefer though a little bit more moisture from my hand cream, but it's a good one for some protection. Like if you're going driving, or you know you're gonna be in the sun for a while, I think this is a good one. Let's move on to hair care. I have two products here by Drunk Elephant. It's the Cocomino Glossing Shampoo and the Cocomino Marula Cream Conditioner. I finished these uh, up, I would say like a week ago or so. I don't know how I feel about these either. Sometimes I use them and I feel like my hair looks really nice. And other times I use them and I feel that my scalp is feeling a little bit dry and kind of sensitive. That is why I'm not sure how to feel about them. I don't hate them. 
and I do like the way my hair looks sometimes when I use them but I have to use them together because I did notice that when I use one with let's say another brand I don't appreciate the same glossy effect that I get in my hair other than that if I were to choose only one out of the two I would say it's the conditioner because I really like how it conditions the hair but it's not too much it's not like it doesn't weigh down the hair and I'm the kind of person that likes a lot of moisture in my hair and for a while I was using hair masks as my like conditioner but with this I feel like it gives me just the right amount of moisture especially for a daily use and I can get away with using a hair mask only once a week so if I were to repurchase one I would say it would be this one another hair care product that is actually a staple in my routine but this time I chose not to repurchase it because I have a lot more to try. It is by Bria Gio and it's the Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Heat Protectant Cream. It is a very nice heat protectant, blow dry, perfection, all of that. I really like how it absorbs quickly into my skin. It doesn't add anything to my hair. It doesn't feel like I added a layer to it or sticky or... You know, sometimes some heat protectants, they just feel weird on the hair. This one doesn't do that. It just absorbs right into my hair and it's like I didn't put anything. But I can definitely feel the difference when I don't use it. I can definitely attest to it protecting my hair a little bit. I also really like the scent of it. It's not overpowering, but it just smells clean and fresh. If you are in need of a heat protectant cream, I think this would be a great one to try. The final product of this video is actually a body care product and it is by the brand Avino and it's the Restorative Skin Therapy Oat Repairing Cream. This is a body cream that was formulated for super dry and sensitive distressed skin and I think this is the line that was used on people who, who are suffering from cancer and were undergoing chemotherapy because their skin barrier actually is compromised. And I believe it was tested on them and it was shown to really support the skin barrier. I will say it is a nice cream. It is not my favorite from the brand. It is quite moisturizing, but I didn't find it moisturizing enough in certain parts where I suffer from really dry skin, like my elbows. I was always reaching for a different cream in this area, but for a daily use body cream, if you have sensitive skin, I think this is a great one. It absorbs quickly, it, it's unscented, and yeah, it's got oats in it, which are amazing at soothing skin. And I have used this a few times on compromised skin barrier on my body, and I can definitely feel that it's soothing. Those were all my empties for this month. I always feel so good when I finish up products. I don't know why, I just feel like I got what I paid for but yeah i am looking forward to finish up even more i have so much to go through and i'm kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed with how much i have and i really feel like i need to cut down a little bit on my on how much i purchase but yeah i cannot wait to see how many things i finish for march and april and hopefully by the end of the year thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for my future content bye guys